What's up YouTube? I'm Alan. I'm Casey. And today we've got Battle Box Mission 22 coming up right here on Practical Survival. What's up YouTube? Uh, today we are, as you know, going over Battle Box 22. We just got it in the mail and we are super excited. Uh, it is holidays, Christmas. I'm going to say Christmas. We got the wreath behind us. So, uh, let's bat dive into Battle Box 22 here. Uh, Alan's going to read over the card and we'll just kind of let you know what we're thinking about. And we want to apologize right off the bat that this video was a little bit late. Uh, Battle Box sent out an email. They had some shipping problems this month. Um, getting product in to put in the boxes to be shipped out. There were some major delays. So we uh, we didn't get this box. Today is Monday. And uh, the 12th. Monday the 12th. So we got the box a little bit late. And we're just now doing the video. And this video will probably post on Wednesday the 15th. So sorry about how late this one is, but you know, we're we're kind of at the at the whims here. So Anyhow, for those of you who don't know what Battle Box is, it is a monthly subscription service where every month you get survival and tactical gear. There's four levels of subscription, the basic, uh, advanced, the pro, and the pro plus. Basic is $25, advanced is $50, pro is $100, and pro plus, which is the knife of the month club, is a hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, let's dive right, go ahead and just dive right into this thing. Our first item in basic is the Battle Box 70% wool military blanket. And it is actually better than the wool blanket that I had in the military. This, it's about twice the size of the one that I had in the military. I could take the one I had in the military and put it up underneath my ankles and pull the blanket up and it would only come to about right here. This blanket I could put up under my heels and put the other end of the blanket clear over my head. It is much, about twice as big as the one that I had in the military. So it's a great blanket. And if anybody knows, anybody's been out in the woods or anything, they should know that wool is almost the way to go. If you have wool socks at all, that's the way to go um, in the winter time especially because even if you get a little wet the wool will still keep you warm and that's included like with this blanket here um, and wool will even keep you warm when it's wet yeah if you get rained on you're still going to be able to retain some heat with wool whereas if you're using down or something like that you, you lose the heat so this is a blanket uh, nice thick wool blanket uh, seventy percent wool, thirty percent synthetic. Yep. Shrink resistant treated. Okay, if it ever shrinks, that's a big blanket to shrink. Uh, Sixty-two inches wide and eighty inches long. So it's actually pretty. It is long. Eighty yeah. inches. Holy moly! Got the Battle Box logo on the label here, uh, and it is all drab. All drab. Thank you. Is that the color you were looking for? That's what I was looking for. That was it. That was it. As you can see, it's night, so we've had a long day. It's been a very long day. <laughs> now we're getting to this. So, and the cost on that blanket is $33.99. So, it is actually worth more than the basic box itself. Just with this one item, you're above the value of what you paid for. So, it's, I mean, you, you just can't beat the the value that's in Battle Box. So, and you can tell the wife, "Hey, look, we have a picnic blanket." Huh? See, that gives an open door for the monthly subscription. Yeah. Next item up, I'm actually really excited about. This is the Dragon Fire Fatwood Fire Starter with Fire Cord Lanyard. The value on it is $4.99. So what Fatwood is? is basically nature's gasoline. It's a usually pine that has fallen over and all the sap and oils and whatnot has all drained to the bottom section 
of this pine tree and then they take and harvest that and it is very flammable it lasts forever it takes very little to start a fire you just fuzz up a little bit set that to the side and then, and then take a couple of little flakes off and it will start a fire it will start your kindling right up so awesome natural fire starter and with this uh, fire lanyard here this red string is fire tender so you pull this red cord out of this paracord and you fluff it up and it will actually take a spark and will work as well to start a fire that's pretty slick yeah they put a lot of thought into that mm -hmm. so it doesn't take up much room in your box or bag or whatever you got going on um lightweight yeah so. and will work every time that's pretty slick that's good to know good to have yeah next up is not an american made product but it is an awesome product it is the more knife pro c bush crafting knife that has a value of 12.95 more knives are made in sweden with swedish steel uh, it is a carbon steel polished it up right there which is really nice uh, the edge holy miracle that edge is nice uh, Scandinavian grind. Yep. You know, it's a uh, it's a well well good knife. It's a well built knife. Um, pretty balanced, pretty good. Uh, it's plastic handle. I don't know, like a soft rubbery plastic handle, I'd say. Uh, More knives just feel good in the hand with the way they do their handles. Mm -hmm. And the sheath isn't bad either. I mean, it's a basic plastic sheath. But it does have a drain hole in the bottom of it. So this is carbon steel, so you have to keep it as dry as you can. So it does have a drain hole, so you cannot get caught in the rain. The water will drain out. And the trick with this knife is keep it shiny. The whole blade and everything, the whole knife, just keep it shiny. It's polished, keep it polished. That way you know that it won't rust. Yeah. Just put a little... It's carbon steel, so every couple of months just put a little bit of oil on it clean it up real good put just a little bit of oil on it and you're fine so now the trick is is I, I worked in a place that we built knives and with the sheaths one of the main tests we did with the sheath was is if it was upside down um, we designed it for that if somebody was jumping out of a plane and if they kind of got caught or rolling upside down and then the parachute opened or whatever and their blade was kind of flopping loose a little bit or the sheath flopped over and was facing down like that and it was a hard jerk if it would come out you know what a good test is with this it's got a good solid click to it you just take it and you yeah that's actually a pretty good I mean it feels like it's gonna come out a little bit but it goes right back in so you you mean you if you're falling out of a tree it's gonna take a lot to have this come out of the sheath yeah good knives mm -hmm. Good quality knives at, at, at a good price. At a good price. They'll last you a long time. So next up, we have the Bushcraft Bible. This is a book by James Henry. And it is full of a wealth of knowledge. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you, if you don't know anything about bushcraft, get this book. Um... I was flipping through it earlier today, and again, when I got over here to Alan's house, I flipped through it again a little bit, and it looks like it's easy reading. Um, it's it, it tells you some pretty good uh, ex explanatory things about what you need to know, and then it breaks certain things, other things down. Uh, like, uh, this is what you need plant-wise to, uh, for medical purposes or anything like that, if you're out there in the bush. Um, and you need some first aid and you don't have modern first aid it can get you by it can tell you to look for certain plants to get you by until you can get the proper first aid yeah Tom, that's just one of the many things on shelter building and everything else yeah um setting up your camp uh let's see what else we got in here building shelters uh what to pack if you're going out on a bush uh, bushcraft type trip uh, tracking 
you got all kinds of different tracks in here. So if you wanted to track some animals or whatnot, or at least identify the tracks that you find, it's got a little bit on tracking and, and hoof and paw identification, mm -hmm. poisonous snakes, medicinal plants, edible plants. Uh, there's even a section in here. Morale is very important in any survival situation. You've got to be able to keep your morale up because the second your morale goes down, it's a bad, long day. So there is a section in here for outdoor games and fun. So you may not want to play a game if you're in a survival situation, but if it helps take your mind off and help pass some time, why not? Yep. It's it's really not a bad idea. It'll help keep your morale up so that until you're rescued or you can find a way out of wherever you're stuck in, you know, it, it works. So the Bushcraft Bible by James Henry, awesome. And knowledge weighs nothing. So read this mm -hmm. book, retain some of it, and you'll and, always have that knowledge. And then keep that book and, you know, pick something out of it, how to build a certain shelter. There's many different shelters on how they, they tell you what to build and stuff in there. Uh, our ideas to build you know go out and pick one of those shelters that you'd normally not see around you know either in TV or whatever and go I want to build that shelter and go out and build that shelter and see what you can do and then you know what you just got that in the back of your pocket there for when you actually need to do, to do it so, yeah so next up we have the zombie tender pioneer blanket, pen, striker, self-defense tool, and all. Basically it's flint and steel with a pen. You want me to open that up? So you get yeah, open you? it up. Can open it up anyway. Might as well open it up now, huh? So, blanket pens are actually really nice. Go, go, They do go along with your wool blanket. So what you do to make it work as a blanket pin, put this pin in the center. Take your little red cap off. And it means there's something sharp under there. And Use yeah, your this, noodle. Is, this is actually sharp. And put your blanket over you. you. Shove it through one side of the blanket. Come through and shove it on through the other side of the blanket. And then you work this pin around like this. little stiff but you work this pin around so that it catches on this side so now your blanket is coming through like this into your pin and it's going to hold your blanket in place for you to help you keep warm this way you can do whatever you need to with your hands or whatever it's actually really good to keep with that wool blanket and then for the self-defense tool they're basically saying you can put it in between your fingers like this and stab the crap out of somebody. Yep. So you can either have a stabbing tool or you can use it to run around the woods with a cape on. There you go. Your choice. And then, of course, flint and steel, you get a nice piece of flint. And all you got to do is take this little pin off. I can get it off. There it goes. And now you've got a nice piece. There's your steel. There's your nice piece of flint. And you just strike it. And not knock it out of your hand. I, you did see this fire on the spark. You get a spark. Just so tell your wife that we did it now. Yeah. And use a use a piece of char cloth or something like that. And uh, Strike you up an ember and then use that to get your fire going. So it's actually a really good tool. Again, lightweight. Put it in your bushcraft uh, stuff. Little baggy. And if you need if you need something, you've got. It. Mm -hmm. So because fire and water are the most important things out there. They are. And then of course, with all your basic and advanced. Memberships, you get the Ready Man Basic Membership, 
which is a $10 value that is included for free with BattleBox. So that is, that is your basic box. And now we're going to move into the advanced box. In the advanced box, you get everything that we've already shown you, plus this month you get two more items. The first item is a large bushcraft style canvas rough rucksack. And the value on that is $42.19. It's actually a really nice canvas sack. Uh, lots of storage room. The seams are really good on it. Um, there's no, I don't see any really, everything's double stitched. Um, good snaps, good, uh, well, they gave you quick releases and they gave you. Look at that. Yeah, you got a buckle and you got the snaps. <laughs> cool. Yep, so you got buckles and snaps. Here's your buckles. Here's your snaps. That's on the main main top. Um, I'll just show you guys for quick. You get your big open, pretty deep. And you got your cinch on top that you can cinch it closed, but also on the inside you have a, another baggie for the back there that's a zipper in the back. And a little pouch. A little pouch in the back, which is good. Uh, keep stuff that you want to keep a little drier in that. Maybe some flint or starting, fire starting stuff. And then uh, you got uh, two pockets on the sides. Again, they're snaps. And they're actually deep, which is good. Not a lot of them have deep and wide pouches like that on the side. And then another buckle or snap. Big, nice open for the back. Maybe put your first aid kit. Or first something. aid kit, or yeah, that's actually a good idea. First aid kit in there, huh? Yeah. Easy access to it. And it is canvas, so it'll last you forever. And if you're ever worried about it getting wet. One thing you can do with canvas is melt some beeswax and, and coat it in beeswax. This will help improve the, the water resistance of it. It'll make it more stiffer and make the canvas material a little more darker, but it will help your water resistance greatly. Yeah, and with mine, I rolled up my wool blanket, and put my wool blanket in the bottom here. Uh, and I had plenty of room left, plenty of room left. So I'm not too worried about not able to put a bunch of stuff in these, in this, um, yeah, this backpack bag. Great, great little bag. Actually, it is. I was actually really impressed when they BattleBox kind of sent out a teaser saying that you're, they're going to give a bunch of, uh, they're going to give an item to carry a bunch of the cool stuff they give given out, and I was a little little bit, uh, what do you use that word? Skeptical? Skeptical. Again, late. Um, but they, uh, they they delivered on this one. This was actually pretty darn cool. Yeah, really nice bag. Really nice bag. Can I put it down here? Yeah. Okay. Next up, we have an item that BattleBox actually helped develop a little bit. It is the Wazoo Survival Gear Viking Whetstone Necklace. Now, for those of you who don't know what Wazoo Survival is, they got their start in making survival bracelets. And now they have survival bracelets and belts, all kinds of wearables, and most of them have survival kits built inside of them. So this is the Whetstone. Hey, it's on a piece of leather for mm -hmm. putting it around your neck. The whetstone puts a really nice edge on your knives. And all you gotta do is, is get it just a little bit wet or spit on it. My dad used to always just spit on it and go. But they will last you forever. And they will hone your knife so beautifully. Oh, they do a good yeah. job. They are really cool. So. It's a nice little item. I personally, it's a little heavy to wear around the neck, uh, but 
I mean, if, if, if that's your thing, hey, wear it around your neck. Uh, I'm actually going to be taking it off of, taking the leather off of it and using it with the Pro Plus item, which we'll get to here shortly. And when we get to it, I'll, I'll show you what, what this is good for. So the next item up is actually, okay. oh, the value on the whetstone is $24. So, and then that's your advanced box. The next level up is the pro level. So the pro level, this month you get one extra item and you get all the items that we've shown you already as well, the basic and the advanced items. This month, your one item is the Self-Reliance Outfitters Bushcraft Knife Making Kit with DVD. So Self-Reliance Outfitters, Dave Canterbury, uh, those of you who don't know him, uh, you can actually look up Dave Canterbury on YouTube, he's got his own channel, and he's actually a wealth of knowledge when it comes to bushcrafting. Anything bushcrafting, knife, and axe related, this guy is a wealth of knowledge. So, this is their knife making kit from their school. It's actually a pretty nice little kit. This is the, the first real craft kit that we've gotten in BattleBox. Mm -hmm. And it's an awesome one. So this is your knife here, and it's in cellophane right now, but it will be full tang. Mm -hmm. And it already is pre-ground, but not ground. finished. Pre-ground, it's not finished, but it is pre-ground with a fairly decent edge. It still needs, it is a rough edge though, so mm -hmm. it does need to be finished out. But just be aware of that when you go to work on this knife, you want to put some cardboard around the knife or something like that just to make sure you don't cut yourself while you're crafting on this knife. So be careful with that. Don't, don't go hurting yourself. These are the handle scales. They are, they are wood scales. And you do get your two brass pins for the handle. Cross um, pins. The, from what I have seen, yeah, it's just a CMC, CNC. You still got to finish the handles yourself. Yeah, they are not form fitted to the knife. You actually have to do all the sanding and everything. That should be pretty cool. To the handle, so you get to shape it yourself to to your hand and what what you like. And then you got to oil them. Make sure you oil them and everything too. Yeah, oil them, stain them, whatever you're gonna do. So this. Is actually a really neat little item mm -hmm. and the price on that is $49.95 came with the DVD? yes it comes with the DVD to show you how to do it now price on that is $49.95 so that brings the total cost of everything so far to $218.09 and if you just got the pro level you've got $100 in the box so you basically made $118. So, like I said, value on BattleBox is awesome. You know, we jumped right ahead. What do you think of the backpack? I love it. Yeah? That's all I got to say about it. I love it. Yeah? It's an awesome pack. It'll yeah, last a long time. I was, I was doing a lot of the talking there on that one. I never really got to hear what your opinion was on that one. Yeah, I love it. So, anyhow, I'm going to get you back on this next time. So don't worry about it. No, I know. You're going to be talking to Storm on this one. Yeah. Next item is the Pro Plus level. Pro Plus is a $150 box. And this month, you get to do all that. We the value is $120. Wow. So, that's almost as much as the Pro Plus. Yeah. But worth it. And we have an awesome knife. One of my favorite knife making companies. This is the Topps Knives Cub the Compact Utility Blade. It is a three and three quarter inch 
1095 high carbon steel with a stone washed finish. Tan micarta scales, they are linen micarta scales, tan linen micarta scales, uh, ballistic nylon sheath, it has bow drill divots, and the grind on this is a modified Scandi grind. And if you know much about the grinds, you'll, if you got this knife, you, you could see where it's almost a hollow grind. I mean, it, it, it's like all, just almost a hollow ground, but it's actually a Scandi, or modified Scandi. So you got a nice clip here on your sheath to help hold it in. And this flap will actually come off as well here, it just Velcro's on, so it comes right off. You've got a nice pouch here which will hold the whetstone perfectly. So this is what I was going to show you a while ago. That's what I plan to do. Digging further into the knife, you got a nice Velcro here. Plastic inset on the sheath here. And this is the knife. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, handmade in America knife. America. That's right, handmade in America from start to finish. And hand sharpened as well. They, they have belt sharpeners and they, you can see in some of their videos, they actually sharpen, hand sharpen every knife that comes through. Nice, smooth linen micarta. This is treated with beeswax. So if it gets a little wet, it'll get just a little bit tacky on you. To, to, so it's not going to slip out of your hand. I have an extra large hand and it fits my hand beautifully. Um, very, very sharp edge. You got your bow drill divots on both sides of the handle here as well as little divots in the top of the handles here for your thumb and forefinger if you need to do any real fine work you can do that and then a nice big hole here for a lanyard or whatever you want to use that for. Uh, with the linen micarta it won't quite work for a bottle opener. You could try but you might damage the knife. Just a word to the wise if you're that redneck use something else. Use something your keys. Else. Yeah. If you're that redneck use your teeth. Yeah, do, do something else. Don't, don't damage this beautiful knife. Mm. This is a knife that you should be able to pass on to your grandkids as long as you take care of it. It does require, it, it is a uh, carbon. It is a carbon steel, so it does require that you oil it every now and again. But mm. it's a beautiful, beautiful mm. knife. Mm. I actually wore this knife all day. As, as soon as the mail came today, I almost tackled the mailman because I knew this knife was in the box. And the first thing I did was take this knife out and put it on my hip. And I wore it all day today and it is so lightweight I actually forgot that I was wearing it. So it's a very, very nice knife. Will work well for everyday carry if your state allows you to everyday carry a fixed blade. Well, I live in California, so as long as it's not concealed, we can wear a fixed plate. So it works well for us. They did a really good job grinding this. If it was by hand, they did a really good job. Yeah, it was all by hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's balanced. Beautiful. It has a beautiful knife. Mm -hmm. And I saw your skin was on it, so you tested the sharpness already, I see. Yeah, yeah, it shaved the hair right off of my hand. So it is an extremely sharp blade. The cub. Hmm. That's a good blade. That is a really good blade. The, uh, the sheath is pretty good. I, I look kind of going over the sheath a little bit. Um, 
knife hugs in there pretty good. Uh, there's no definite click, so just gonna remember that um, if you're gonna be out and about running, jumping up in trees, and doing everything else, I would recommend putting this on it, not leaving it open like that, because uh, you don't want that knife to fall out. Um, it's pretty hard to fall out with that Velcro there, but you know, multiple reasons why to, why to keep this on. One, it keeps the weather off of it. That's uh, that's a plus. Uh, keeps the weather off your stone or whatever else you're going to have in the little pouch here. Um, I noticed that it is uh, molly. You can do molly on it. It's molly attached. And the, the webbing is actually wide enough. You could probably even scout carry this if you wanted to. I, that will go through some belts. Yeah. No, that will. That can go through a lot of... Yeah. That's be pretty good. Um... The one thing he noticed and I noticed earlier that uh, it gave you some paracord on the back here to looks like to uh, wrap around your leg if you wanted to, um, but the sheath is a little too short for that uh, if it was going off your belt, we noticed. Yeah. It would uh, tie into something that strangle something else we don't want to have strangled. It, hanging this off of my belt, off of this belt loop right here, hanging it off of my belt, the bottom of the sheath hits me right at the bottom of my butt. So if I used this paracord to actually wrap it, wrap around my leg as a leg strap, it would ride right up into my crotch. So it's really too short for that. I, I just took this paracord and just wrapped it up into the molly just to keep on there. So I've got a little extra cordage you know, a cordage is, is always good to have, so and I'll keep it on there. Yeah, because a cordage is actually wouldn't be bad to keep there because, uh, you know, if you're working in wet uh, situations and you're swinging that knife around, it wouldn't be a bad idea to uh, tie that paracord off to the handle there. Yeah. Give you a little bit more of a grip on that handle. Yeah. So that would uh, that'd work out just right for that. But other than I mean, the blade and the knife, well worth it. Well worth it. That's so. a really good deal on this because of this one. And then the only thing that we haven't shown you yet, so that is the entire box. Uh, hey look, it comes with a little certificate. With a total, yeah, it comes with a certificate. So the total value of the box comes to $338.09 and if you got the Pro Plus you've got 150 bucks into it. So you more than doubled your money. And the only thing that we haven't showed you yet is the coupons that come Coupon. with it. So you always you always get coupons with BattleBox as well. What's that one? Twenty percent off on Pathfinder Knife Shop. So the same one that uh, the same knife that we got in the Pro that uh, you have to finish building yourself. Uh, Twenty percent off for that store for the Pathfinder knife, which is pretty slick actually. Yeah. I might go on there and check that stuff out. Uh, another one is Top Knife. Top's Knife is a really good knife. One life, one knife. 30% uh, off on that one. I'm definitely going to be checking out that one. Now, I will tell you, this. The, a lot of people are calling this a survival knife. Yeah, sort of. It, you could use it as bushcraft survival knife. Um, it's right about EDC length if, as long as your state allows you to carry a fixed blade. Here's a problem with using a Topps knife as a survival knife. Their spines are normally not sharp enough to strike a ferro rod. So if you get a Topps knife and you're expecting it to be a, a all around survival knife, that is the one place where a Topps knife will always fail is it will not strike a ferro rod. You will have to use the edge of your knife to strike your ferro rod. So. Next. I'm looking at all the coupons. Um, fire cord. Basically, oh, that, uh, that's the Dragonfire Tinder Box. Which is this guy right here. Uh, there's a little basically postcard on how to use it, kind of describing what it is, and 25% off on off of their website. Off yeah. their website. So, and then this one, another coupon they get is 35% off Zombie Tinder, which is the 
It's that little, the little thing in the burlap. Oh, yeah. there it is. It's that little, the little clevis for the cape that you can turn into the wool blanket. That one's actually pretty cool. You yeah. want to see what else they got? They've got some really cool fire starting tender stuff. So, and then this one is just the. Uh, $20 off plus free shipping at wazoosurvivalgear.com. That's actually a really good one to have. They've got some really nice survival bracelets, a couple of nice belts. So, it's like they're advertising for a belt on the back yeah, of the card. Yeah, the cash belt. So it's, it, they're a very cool company. They are an American company. All their stuff is American made with all their parts being made in America as well. So, great company there. So that is it for Mission 22, December 2016. Sorry about the lateness. Uh, there's really nothing that could be done about that. BattleBox did everything they could. They actually got the box out on time. Their shipping window is from the 3rd to the 9th. Our box shipped on the 9th. Mm -hmm. So, post office isn't open on Sunday, so we got it the following Monday. You always get uh, two-day shipping. Something else that is going to start happening, all new members who sign up will have to pay shipping on all levels now. It's something that they're going to do as well. They were, you were only paying shipping on basic and advanced levels and you got free shipping with Pro and Pro Plus. Their boxes are so heavy, that's a cost they cannot keep eating. So from now on, In this box, all new members, really heavy. yeah, this box is really heavy. So all new members now will be paying shipping on all levels. It, it doesn't, that's worth it, trust me, that's worth it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, you know, you, if you do it anything else, everything else you order offline, unless you're Amazon Prime, I think, right? Yeah, that's about the only thing. I don't know. I don't have it. Anyway, but that, that I mean, it's worth it. It is worth it by far. But if you have been a BattleBox subscriber up till now, you will continue getting, your grandfathered in and will continue getting free shipping on Pro and Pro Plus. It's just new subscribers, or if you change your subscription level, you're going to start paying. So, like you're a pro level, mm -hmm. if you decide to upgrade to a pro plus, you're going to start playing shit. Dang. Sorry. Okay. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Anyhow. That knife there almost turned me into being a pro plus, but then I don't think the wife would like it. Anyhow. I'm Alan. I'm Casey. And you just watched Practical Survival. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll catch you next time. Bye. See you.